Hi, my name is Mayhem Star, and welcome to Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. Help me buy milk. Okay. Write down your name, Mayhem. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. Um, who's this? Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in the game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I do this. What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts. Right on the screen, you know. So I thought if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blurt out too much. <laughs> I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I... Crap, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again, yeah, when you rehearse what you want to say at the store. Like, uh, when you go up to order something at, um, at, a, at a restaurant, I do that. I rehearse everything in my head and I try and say it exactly as it sounds. Anyway. Hello, can I get... Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Haha, <laughs> loser. Don't worry. Haha, <laughs> loser. Yeah. Don't insult me, please. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 50 steps on the grass. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've already been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on, you're so stupid. Why are there two options and why is one so degrading? Hi, I don't remember. Are these our thoughts in our head? I think it might be. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ah, oh, here we go again. So, step one, take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute, what do you mean step one? What then? But it's already the 52nd. Or oh, wait, I'm going backwards. So then it's the 50th. It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. G could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. And the store closes in an hour or so. You will be very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. I carefully move my foot backwards looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? What is this? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, uh oh Excuse me, what? Oh, he shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. You run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, hmm. Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm afraid by the letter O? What, it looks like a massive goose egg? Hollow in the inside, hard on the outside? It looks like an eye? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you explaining- Oh- Oh- 
that did look like an eye. Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh? What? Oh? What? What? Oh? I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh! My interlocutor shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. When exactly did you say that? Just now. Ooh, someone's gaslighting someone. But if it's the voices in our head. Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. At my screen? This screen? Are you breaking the fourth wall? Within the fourth wall? I'm standing by the shelves on the rack there are bags of milk. We both stand in the milk. Lies or maybe... Hey 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 slow down. Do you even remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? No? <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I guess something like, not here. Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. You're getting on my nerves. You don't want to help me at all, do you? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather the bag with the milk inside. Or rather the bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes. Hurry up. I remembered what those games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books? But there the authors are not as lazy. So don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Are you schizo? Not anymore, so... Watch your mouth. <laughs> Um, anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you'll get it at home again. So, these are the MC's thoughts. Playing on the screen. But then who are we? I'm on my way. Because we're not the MC and neither are we the thoughts, are we? We could be the thoughts. So, I'm assuming our MC isn't mentally well. Hello. C can I g get some milk, please? You have it. Ah, give. I put a weighty bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the bag of milk too. Hi, can I... Can I have it, please? No. Please? No. But please, my mom will throw me out the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you. You're pathetic. Pay for the milk. They hate you. Why? You are stupid and worthless. You're not even capable of going to the store to get milk. I hope mom throws you out the window, though. Even in flight, you'll think it's just a fun ride. What are you talking about? Whoa. Looks like mayhem doesn't help me at all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Write down your name. What if I am someone else? What if I tell you I'm mayhem star instead of mayhem? I hope you can do it better than mayhem. What? We're down the road to rehearse my speech. Shut up in gold already. Let's be really mean to you, because I suspect... Now let's give it a try. The whole word more. El Tom was louder. Who knows? Hello, can I... Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Loser. Don't insult me, please. By the way, your left foot. Mm-hmm. 
Like how much? 50 steps per ass. <laughs> yep. You've been taught the right way. You're so stupid. Okay. You're so stupid. Looks like Mayhem Star doesn't help me at all. I understand now. It's a point system. It's a point system. And I think it's three strikes and you're out. I guess I'll try something else next time. Okay, okay, okay. So, why is it that she can summon multiple personalities at once? I suspect it's a form of try something else next time. I suspect it's a schizophrenia, a mental instability mixed with a hint of drugs. Something is causing her to think. Is it even a her? I don't even know if it's a her. Something is causing the MC to manifest very different thoughts or an unconscious that speaks to her in a very negative way and it might be caused by drugs. Let's screw this up. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see something. What happens if you, if I screw you over and then I play again as mayhem? So I screw you over as mayhem and play again as mayhem. Try something next time. Mayhem. Again. I hope we can do it this time. That's so cool. That's cool. Here we go. They hate you. You're pathetic. So if I click they hate you. Why? What are you talking about? Nothing. Oh. I think I am right. And on the whole different personality thing. The whole. Screaming at it themselves. They're. We have, they have their own internal conflict. Why, why are you telling me this? I want you to die even more than mom. Though she doesn't even see you as a living creature. To her, you're just a moat of dust that flies around the room aimlessly. What are you talking about? Nothing. Pay for the milk. Haha, <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. Dad. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and puts it in the cash register. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, because of her condition, she thinks everyone is hostile towards her. I think it's a her. I keep saying her. Why do I keep saying her? She looks like a female from the close-up of her eyes. I don't know. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days I was in physical therapy. But the way they gave me a bag at the checkout. So now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested, you're just a weirdo. Let's be nice, because we know how this ends if we click you're just a weirdo. Well look, the ratio of water to milk and the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best, unless you want to drink more than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. I see. I feel movement under my feet, asphalt grains, petrol stains. I'm trying to keep my balance and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plain? Gently, heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out. I kinda like that. The asphalt grains, the gas stains, how do people keep their balance when walking on the city plain? That's very extreme overthinking. Lots and lots of overthinking there. The idea that the MC is in public, and they're not confident at all about walking out in the city. I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. 
Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. His red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh really? Although if you think about it, are there bears with eyes in the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? Yeah, okay, we are a girl. You're sick. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you're talking about. What do you mean? How can you be not in the world you're talking about? My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all in your head? Dot. Let's, let's stay passive. Let's stay really passive. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. Me? If you say so, it could hurt your recovery. So she definitely isn't well. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hands and place a thought block. Dot. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. What is that? That supposed to symbolize the screen? Dot. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective. Oh. It is medications. Drugs, really. So, that's ultimately things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. No, I don't. Please capitalize it, you're ruining the narrative. N no. Well, I'm not really surprised. I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. Dot. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. Haha. <laughs> huh. What is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since, um, <clears throat> something happened. All I see is red. Red blood. Everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on, <laughs> Those monsters from the store? They didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? Interesting. So, you have your own thoughts on what the public perceives you because you are not well. In that sense, you think you are... You think you are... And like an outcast. By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise. No. Promise me. Promise? Yes. Really? Promise? Yeah. Really? Promise? Yes. Really? Promise yes. 
is this last chance I have. So every time I take a yes, it gets a plus one to the score. Every time I uh, put in no, I get a minus one. Really? I'm serious. Just. Of course you couldn't help but ask. Oh, if I stop typing yes and no, it just skips and stops. Interesting. It's like a dot dot dot. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you're really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? Crash? See crash, like a motorcycle kind of crash. Dots. Anyway, this is my dad. Some of his parts at least. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I n never would have thought. Sorry I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. This is my last memory. Then, a long gap. Dots. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course the medicine helped me. However, I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, he mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today. But it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. The screen? That's how I like. You remove the, um, the text box. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet I've become so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Oh no. Day after day it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. So the medications are changing the personalities in our head, or rather the unconscious voices. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> Tots. But you know what? Today's a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you, so- Oh. Oh no. Oh no, the voices have come back. Okay, so from what I'm understanding is that there's the voices in her head, there's us the player, and there's the MC. No, I think we are the voice in her head, depending on the medication that she takes at the beginning at the beginning of the game, when we name ourselves. I think that when she put the mental block on, we haven't had the opportunity to interject and change her, I guess, her, her thoughts. But all of a sudden we've broken through, and we're going to say that was very rude of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. Dot. I understand. Well, dear Rita, shall we go? Oh! God damn, that's so cool. When she speaks as a sound or whatever you want to call it. It's that little uh uh eight bit sound that plays. She lives in a hole. When I get to my floor I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual. I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Wow. Mother? That has to be, right? Did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? 
Yes, mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, mom. Go to bed. Yes, mom. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that juxtaposition, that kind of discourse between the MC, the thoughts in her head, and kind of like that reader. We are the reader. When I say that reader, I mean, like, I'm not really too sure if we are the thoughts in the head as well, or if we're kind of just a, a person in the sky that she looks up to and speaks to us um, when she's able to shut out all of her thoughts. I think that's cool. I think that's unbelievably cool. To a degree, I don't think that they really needed to explain that it was the Medicaid. Oh, no, 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 it kind of makes sense. I don't think they really had to explain that it was the medication that was giving her the different personalities in her head, depending on the name that we give ourselves at the beginning of the game. But at the same time, I think it kind of fits quite well. I don't, I don't think they had to. They could have showed rather than told. But that's okay. I think that's okay. This is memorable. This will be very memorable. It's a good game. Seriously good. It's insanely good. Holy shit, it's insanely good. My name is Mayhem Star, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.